A bridge is a structure to help carry you from one side to the other to get over obstacles. This daily dose of Daryl is a very special edition called Bridges. I don't know if you've ever thought much about bridges, but on the trip I took of four continents around the world, 12 nations were involved. There were 36 different cities that were part of this effort over a period of 63 days. During that time, there were 156 presentations, and that was honoring and entertaining people and also recognizing organizations. It was an amazing trip, but there was one thing, like this beautiful bridge here that stood out as one common denominator around the world, and that was bridges. You see, bridges are so valuable, and they've been built by people that were thinking, thinking about other people, the people who would come after them. The first time they had to cross the river, it took a long time. It was very difficult. But now it's quite easy in so many places around the world. And so as we begin to look at these bridges, we may not realize how many there really are. For instance, in Amsterdam alone, there are 1,200 bridges. And if you include, include the islands, probably bumps it up to 1,500. In Venice, the city known for bridges, built on water, there were 300. Paris, uh, just across the Seine River, 37 bridges. Brussels, Belgium has 20. Melbourne, 13. Sydney, 5. And in Italy, there are about 2,000 highway bridges. London had 35, Edinburgh, 3. And yet, little Peebles, Scotland, <laughs> little tiny village on the Tweed River, actually had 20. So even from the smallest village to the largest city, the value of bridges really stands out. Now, the reason I'm really doing this daily dose of Daryl is to let you see some of these amazing scenes of bridges around the world. But the real reason is to help you understand that many people have been bridges for you, perhaps in your time of grief, uh, perhaps in your time of matrimony, perhaps at work. Uh, helping you deal with a problem. There are so many different things, perhaps at school, where people have helped you uh, over obstacles and been a bridge for you. Uh, a lot of times people have an opportunity to be a bridge from one generation to the next. And so uh, today I want you to start thinking about not only the beautiful bridges around the world, but the beautiful people who are bridges in so many people's lives. Too often we take these physical bridges <laughs> for granted and we just walk across them or drive across them, and yet they're so important. The real br bridge of life was revealed in Milan in that picture. And so... Each one of us has an opportunity every day to be a bridge. Look around you. Look at your daily routine. Look at the opportunities you have. And see if you can find ways that you can help bridge the gap or help people over obstacles every day. One of the ways that we do that is listening to people and trying to put ourselves in their shoes and learning the traits of being kind and being thoughtful and being courteous and also um, realizing that there are many talents we each have that are hidden. A lot of people think they have no talents and cannot be a bridge, but I've known many people that have baked a really mean cake and carried it to someone in a time of death in their family. And that has, not only the cake, but their visit has been a great talent. And they've done that in such a way that it's helped bridge that painful gap for people. So in this daily dose of Daryl, as you go through 
This little journey in the handmade or actually the natural made bridges uh, from all the way around the world from the top to the very bottom down in Tasmania and Australia. The same thing is taking place not only with physical bridges but with people becoming bridges in other people's lives. So on this Daily Dose of Daryl, get you out a, a little piece of paper or notepad and start jotting down the ways that you can look back and see how people have been a bridge for you and maybe you've been for them and see what your possibilities for the future are. And remember that rainbow bridge that was very evident there in Hawaii. And that rainbow bridge is for each one of us. Let's be a good bridge for others until our sunset comes and we land in a whole new area, in a new sphere. God bless you.